What happened to France? Where the hell did that place go? It's like one day it was there and the next it was not. We oui, we oui, baguette. You know, I took lots and lots of French at school when I was younger. When I was in high school, I sat through all my French exams. I did it for years and I got an A in the end. But like right now, I don't even know if I can speak a sentence of French. I mean, I, I can say je m'appelle Ryan. Or for some reason, another phrase that's in the back of my mind is j'ai ons on. And I think that's pretty much my French exhausted, other than talking about baguettes. But I guess I'll be safe. I mean, if I'm ever lost in France or something, I'll, I'll get by fine because I can say that my name is Ryan and I can say I'm 11 years old. So that's all that really matters, I suppose. But that still doesn't solve the, the question of where the hell did France go? Where is it? It just suddenly like disappeared out of existence. I don't understand what happened. I mean, I've got this globe here. I'm going to like have a look and see if, if I can find it. But Maybe my eyesight's just terrible, but I don't seem to be able to see it. Oh, there's Russia, there's China, there's Japan. Like, where on this? I have an idea. I have a little friend. I have a little friend right here. This is uh, this is Frederick. The Frederick. The um, I don't I don't want to touch you, Frederick, because you might give me poison things. Frederick. No oh, ice everywhere. No. Okay, Frederick, you're staying in your bag. This is this is Frederick Frog. Um, where where is France, Frederick? Find, find us France. Find, find us France, Frederick. Where's... Oh! Good good job, Frederick. Ugh! Frederick! You just got all over my camera lens. That's disgusting. Bad Frederick. <laughs> oh, I need to wash my hands. Okay, don't worry. Frederick has been disposed of. Just He's, he's alongside Ryan Jr. somewhere. Anyway, Frederick found, found France on the map, which is like right here. So so we found France on, on the globe. Yippee, I guess. But still, it doesn't answer the question, like, what the hell happened? Like, I know they're, like, neighbor with Belgium, a, a very fake place. Like, everyone knows Belgium's fake. Ever met anyone from Belgium? Didn't think so. Neither have I. And it's because they, they literally do not exist. Like, no one is from Belgium. It's just, like, everyone who lives in Belgium or says, says they live in Belgium comes from somewhere else. And now we will have a moment of uh, remembrance for Frederick and also for... The French people who no longer exist and for also the people who think they're Belgian but they're not. <clears throat> Magnificent, don't you think? But you're back on the subject of France. I don't know what happened. But something happened. And when things happen in the sky, you see stars, you see clouds. The weather changes. And you think, what the hell is, are you doing there, Mr. Weather? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing up there? Where did you go, Franz? Where did you go? Cotton Eye Joe. Maybe he knows the answers. I'm convinced that maybe what happened to France was like a bunch of snails decided to like revolt against the French people. And I don't, I'm not calling the French people snails. I'm saying like actual snails. I mean, the French eat snails. They eat what's called escargot. So maybe the snails finally had enough. They started organizing. The snails organized into a little army and they went for the French people. First they toppled the government and then they destroyed all the people. They like, they just got their revenge. Like they had been amassing a huge army and just devoured the entire state of France. That seems very likely to me. And if you disagree, then you probably have no idea what you're talking about. I once saw a panda. The panda was a man. The man who was the panda didn't have a pan. The pan was full of chips. No, not the American kind, the British kind. The British kind that the French call fries. The French fries came from outer space. Outer space is home to aliens. Aliens are allergic to eggs. Eggs are a great breakfast food, and they work out every day. When they work out, they get big muscles. Muscly eggs, yes, that is the way I like my eggs. I like them to be strong. I like them to be powerful and fit. I like my eggs to be lean. Lean eggs, because it kind of counteracts when I eat them. And so when I eat the eggs, I feel as though I am lean on the inside, even though the exterior may say alternatively. Alternatively, alternatively, what a beautiful day. A beautiful day of grey skies, lots of clouds as well. I have a camera, I'm talking to it now. Goodbye everybody, this video is over.